we're going to paint the fridge magnet now and uh, I'm just going to paint the fish itself and the border. So what we're going to do is paint the inside first and then the border. That way we're not working over wet paint. So we're starting in the centre and working out. I'm going to paint the fish green and the border blue. So obviously I have to clean the brush in between. So load the brush with the green paint. And what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to allow some of the areas where I've impressed to show through. So I'm just gently dabbing the paint on and then you can see the underlying texture. Basically I'm just picking up the high spots. a little bit more, not too much paint on the brush. Like so. Put that down a second. Just going to fill the detail there, just to make sure I'm right up to that edge. There we go. Clean the brush. And then into the blue. And then we can lay the piece on the hand and then when it's wet, we don't need to touch this and we can put the piece down. And again, I'm just going to lay the blue over the top. What I'm going to do is actually paint into the detail here and make the edge a solid blue. It's a lovely strong blue. Right, we're just finishing the last portion of the frame. Just making sure I don't go over that border line and then loading the brush and then doing the last infill. Again, once the glaze colour dries, you will be able to see the embossing more clearly. Because the paint is wet, the shine tends to take away from the detail, but once it dries out, the pattern underneath will be revealed. Once you're happy with that, again, 
being very careful not to touch the wet paint. We can just leave that to dry. Again, that will take about an hour to dry out and then it's finished.